Hello everyone. It's been a little while now and trust me when I say that I did not intend to disappear from this channel for as long as I did and I missed you all. I missed humanity. I missed anthropology. I missed the beauty that is this channel and I want you guys to know right off the bat I have been working hardcore behind the scenes without producing things and bringing you guys content on this channel. So while I did disappear for a little while, I've been working quite a bit on this channel and I'm back and so excited and I just wanted to tell you A, where I went, what happened, where did I go, and also what I've been working on and the future of this channel. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about in this video is where I've been, kind of what I've gotten up to, and also just why I stopped making videos for a little while, why I stopped producing, and this whole little, little backstory starts about three years ago. I have been making anthropology videos for this channel for three years now, over three years, which is wild for me to say out loud. And for the past three years, I have created one anthropology video every single week, which doesn't maybe sound like a whole bunch of work, but I want to just tell you guys that each video, while it may seem very relaxed and casual. Each one that I put online takes a lot in the background. First, I pick a topic and then I thoroughly research that anthropology video and topic idea. Then I script out exactly what I want to say in that video, which it might not look like it to you guys, but literally everything that I say is planned out, either written or in a set of bullet points. I know exactly what I want to talk about. And then after that, I memorize the script or the bullets, bullet points or whatever it is, because I don't want to feel scripted, right? I want to feel like I'm having a conversation and like I know this information that I want to share with the world. And so I write the script, I memorize the script, then I film the video, edit the video, do the thumbnail, write up the description, like all that back end YouTube stuff, post it, and then I repeat that process every single week for three years. And it is a lot of work and I love that work. Like seriously, after my work day ends or my school day ended, like at the time, I would really look forward to working on all these different like aspects of this YouTube channel because I love it. I love the content. I love video production. Like everything about it is my cup of tea. But after three years of just this really regimented grind, genuinely guys, I just got really, really tired. And I know a lot of creators experience that just like the exhaustion, not necessarily burnout. I wouldn't say that that's what I experienced, but just this routine of working all day and then working on something else after that. And because of that, well, there's a few different reasons that I'm gonna dive into in a second, but that in part is one of the reasons that I ended up taking, I wanna say little break, but realistically I was, I was absent for quite a while. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing is I was genuinely just tired. And then the other big giant thing that happened to me, not, not to be dramatic, but going to be a little dramatic <laughs> is so you guys know that I graduated from UCLA in 2022 with a bachelor's in anthropology and that is one of the most amazing things like one of the things that I am so proud of at this point in my life and at the same time when I graduated from UCLA I lost access to all these different kinds of resources that I had around me all the time. I was working directly with anthropologists at school. I had a wonderful pool of peers who were studying anthropology and were becoming, there's a garbage truck, one second. I was surrounded by a wonderful group of peers who really currently are like the next generation of anthropologists. And I also had access to all these free research articles and books and now, as a graduated person, I no longer have that same level of communication with anthropologists that I did. I'm not surrounded by my anthropology peers. And the big one right now when it comes to like producing these videos is I don't have access to the same quality and quantity of anthropology research 
When I look up things to create a video, a lot of the research and work and books is now behind a paywall for me because I'm I'm not a part of an institution because that's not the path that I chose. And all of that together, creating content became much more difficult because I wasn't being flooded with all these ideas, right? Like in my classes, by my peers, by my professors. And also I, I can't go home and research using these wonderful resources that I had when I was a student. So me getting tired and then also losing a bunch of valuable resources combined made creating anthropology YouTube videos very, very challenging. And again, I'm not going through a crisis, my friends. I feel like a lot of people on YouTube come on and they're like, oh my gosh, I don't don't know who I am anymore. anymore. I don't know where my my channel's channel's headed. headed. Crisis, you know, I don't feel that way. I know exactly who I am. I know what I love and I don't feel like I'm having a channel crisis that I'd like at all. I just genuinely was in this position that I'd never been in before and didn't really know how to handle it. And so because of that, I had to take a step back and think about how can I create a YouTube channel that's still anthropological, that still looks at humanity, that still answers the questions that my subscribers have and that still appeals to my interests while not being a university student anymore and having access to those same kinds of resources. And so I took some time to brainstorm and think about where I want this channel to go. And of course that takes a lot of time, like just thinking and planning and brainstorming. So videos weren't actually going out during that time. So that leads me to the actual break, right? What was I doing? What was I thinking about? What was I trying to figure out? And essentially what I have to say to that is I was recentering. I was thinking about where am I at in my life right now? What kinds of things do I have access to? What kinds of topics am I interested in, right? Balancing this with what do my subscribers want to know? What are my subscribers interested in? How can I continue to serve this community in this new phase that I'm in, all right? And it might sound simple, (laughs) but trust me, it was not. Um, There was a lot of thinking that I had to do, but I do think that taking that time has gotten me to this place where I'm so stinking excited for what is to come to this YouTube channel. Like I'm pumped, you guys. I haven't felt this kind of like spark and motivation to create a video in a long while. And to me, that's a sign that good things are ahead, but I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. I am going to have another video coming out actually that dives more deeply into what this channel is going to cover, the specifics, the kind of videos that I want to do, just the future of this channel, blah, blah, blah. But I don't like cliffhangers and I'm assuming you guys don't either. So I still wanted to give like a basic preface and let you guys know what's up, where this channel's headed, because big, fun, exciting things are coming. So what now? Where is this lovely, wonderful channel and community headed? So the the short answer to that, what I feel is a big question, is I am going to be broadening the scope of this channel just a little bit, okay? I am still gonna be looking at humanity. That is like the core of this channel. But rather than looking at this idea, or maybe a better way to say it is rather than this channel being anthropology by Olivia, right? As I've had in my YouTube like channel banner for so long, I want to recenter instead of looking at anthropology only, I want to look at humanity more broadly. And humanity is a huge thing, right? Like how do you tackle that? So to kind of recenter again, I keep saying that word, but to recenter and refocus this channel, I came to two distinct ideas that I want this channel to follow and look at and dissect and really just deeply dive into. And those two ideas are answering the question, what does it mean to be human? And then the second idea that I want to look at is navigating the human experience. And both of these ideas can be looked at from an anthropological 
lens. They could be looked at from a sociological lens. They could be looked at from a psychological or biological perspective, or also just like a real life current events perspective, right? There's so many different ways and different ideas and themes and topics that we can dive into when we're looking at those two big ideas and questions. And I feel like by looking at these two ideas and centering the channel around this, I am more ideally positioned to tackle those with the resources that I have. And I'm really excited. So this is still going to be an educational space, absolutely, and still very much a humanity anthropological channel. Like that is always going to be the core. And I'm just in this place where I want to be able to tackle it all, right? I'd love to bring on an anthropologist to talk about their expertise. I'd love to bring on a friend and ask them, what it means to experience life the way that they do. Like there's so many things that we could really deeply dive into. I feel like for the last three years, this channel in many ways has been very helpful for people, but at the same time, it's remained somewhat surface level, right? We tackle the surface of what certain anthropological terms mean, or we do a little bit. We do 10 minutes on Franz Boas or Margaret Mead or these figures in anthropology. But what if we took a deeper dive into topics, right, and tackled them anthropologically, psychologically, sociologically, like really dissected some current events, things that human experience, things that really are currently applying to you and to me. Can you guys sense the enthusiasm through the camera? Cause I'm feeling it. (laughs) Now, like I said before, this is just a little taste into what I want this channel to look like. The next video that I'm gonna be doing on this channel is actually stating like some video ideas that I have. What are the main areas that I wanna look at and talk about how is this channel gonna look? Where are we headed? And I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be so much fun. But looking to the future, I am not actually sure what to commit to yet. I feel like this idea of doing deeper dives and like more thorough exploration and talking about just things that humanity experiences. I don't actually know what the production side, like how much work that's going to end up being. So I'm not sure how frequent the uploads are going to be, at least not at first, but we will find a routine. Um, And I just have a lot going on. I have another YouTube channel that I've been posting on, by the way. It's all about book reviews and stuff like that, if you want to check it out. I have a full-time job and then I also have another like small part-time job for doing music consulting and then just like personal life, social life, all that good stuff. So I'm balancing a lot, but I love this channel. I always have. I'm not exactly sure the upload schedule or the specific anthropological elements, but you guys are going to be getting a lot more information next week, a lot more. Well, whenever, whenever the next video goes live, I'm not actually sure. And I just wanted to conclude this video by saying... Do not worry if you guys are afraid that this is no longer going to be an anthropological space. It is. I think anthropology and humanity are two terms that in many, many ways are synonymous with each other. I love understanding humans and biology and culture and all that it means to just be a human being in this world, right? Like I said, navigating the human experience. What does it mean to be human? And I'm so excited to answer these questions with my anthropological background, but also bring in other people, ask them what they know about these questions, Um, tackle current events, just all this good stuff. And yes, if this isn't the direction that you wanted the channel to go in, I am sorry. I just, I'm no longer in a position where I can produce the same quality of content about anthropology like something was gonna suffer and I didn't that's not what I wanted so yes I still care about you all so so deeply thank you for the support on this channel I just had to make a pivot and do what was best for me thank you guys so much for watching I will see you all in the next video yeah I don't even I don't even know what else to say thank you all so much I'm excited to be back see you all soon Bye.